According to analysts, election alone do not assure democracy since dictators can use the resources of the state to tamper with the election process. However, free and fair elections increase the likelihood of a peaceful transfer of power as they help to ensure that losing candidates will accept the validity of the election's results and get a power to the new government. In the mix is the role of the Independent National Electoral Commission in building the confidence of the electorate by delivering on its promise of integrity during the only election. Faith Oladimeji has the details. Free and fair election allows people living in a representative democracy to determine the political makeup and future policy direction of their nation's government. Uh, yes, INEX is an impartial uh, commission. That you, 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 you carry out elections and the result will be out even before they counted and all this stuff. I believe no, I don't believe. A free election is one in which all citizens are able to vote for the candidates of their choice and a fair election is one in which all votes have equal power and are counted accurately and in the Ondo election the same is expected by all and sundry. I do not expect anything from them <laughs> because I believe that I, I, I just believe they can't do they can't there's nothing serious in in this country eh? with the way things are being run it's like there is there, there is a status quo that they need to follow it's like something has already been done before we, we carry out our elections you understand so i do not expect anything from them to distribute uh, uh, voting materials early enough without any hitch of any kind to conduct election to man election and put competent hands there, I mean, to announce the result promptly, and so on and so forth. The phrase one person, one vote is often used as a shorthand for free and fair election. The principle of one person, one vote means that every person has the ability to vote, and each vote has equal power. Hey, that uh, they should go out, like I rightly said, and vote them as they, they, they should do stay indoors. They shouldn't say there shouldn't be political apathy. When masses fail, when voters, registered voters, competent voters, when they fail to go out and exercise their franchise, that is political apathy. I mean, I don't expect political apathy. They should go out and vote. Um, I would just say, to be factual, I would just say they should come out to vote for their um, choice and not let anything personal just so as not to cause any disputes and fights or in between, you know, these youths, the way they used to um, take things personal and cause um, thrifts and riots and all this stuff. So I believe they should just come out and just vote for their choice because anything will still, whatever they've decided will still come up. So they should not waste their lives and their efforts. They should just come out to vote if they are willing to. For the entire duration of the Ondo election and beyond, all under voters are asking for is transparency and integrity from INEC. Faith Oladimiji reporting for Kaftan TV News.